First tonight, they are angry, frustrated, and in some cases, afraid. Local homeowners say for a little bit of cash up front, a Florida realty company placed 40-year liens on their homes. This ultimately costing them tens of thousands of dollars. Now, some fear they could lose everything. You're watching 10 Tampa Bay at 6. I'm Miranda Parnell in for Carolina. And I'm Dave Wagner. Good to have you here tonight. Tonight, 10 Investigates Emerald Morrow shows us why the Attorney General is now involved and how you can keep this from happening to you. Because of them, we almost lost our house. Just don't even uh, get in touch with them. They're, they're terrible. They're preying on the, the poor. They're worried about making money and not doing anything. Your home is usually one of your biggest assets. How long have you had this house? Uh, five years. What does this house mean to you? Everything. I got my part of my retirement in here as well. So it's pretty much my life. Meet Lawrence Grenier of Pasco County, a carpenter by trade. His hands helped build a life for his family. What are you going to do when practice starts? But these last few years have been tough. I lost my job due to COVID, and that's when everything started piling up. They decided to sell their house to stop a foreclosure. So when a company called MV Realty offered cash, he signed on. They offered to give us like $860 to be our realtor. We needed money. We needed to get this house sold or else we were going to lose it to the bank. MV Realty is a Delray Beach-based company that gives homeowners cash up front under their homeowner benefit agreement. Usually, it's a few hundred dollars, sometimes a little bit more. They made it sound like a dream come true. You just have to give them exclusive rights to be your realtor if you ever decide to sell your home. Sounds simple, but there's a catch. We found out it was a 40-year contract. This family says no one made this clear up front what they also didn't realize. They are then recording a memorandum of that agreement in the official records of the county, which is operating as a lien against that home. This can have serious consequences. If the homeowner is trying to get a refinance done, many lenders will refuse to work with that homeowner and to offer a refinance if they see MV Realty anywhere in the picture. And if you try to sell your home through anyone other than MV Realty? MV Realty sues the homeowner for what we call an equitable lien against the property. They ask for attorney's fees. And what they are asked for is for 3% of the total value of the home. Meet Ryan Torrens. He's a Tampa foreclosure attorney who noticed MV Realty filing a bunch of lawsuits against homeowners in our area. I was really taken aback by what MV Realty was doing. And at least in my independent you know, judgment, it looked like it was most likely illegal. So he wrote to the attorney general. She took notice. And now she's taking MV Realty to court. Attorney General Ashley Moody filed this lawsuit in December, accusing MV Realty of using, quote, a complex and deceptive scheme that attempts to skirt existing Florida law with the goal of swindling consumers out of their home equity. The Attorney General said no to an interview because of the lawsuit, but her office told us statewide MV Realty has made more than 9,100 public record filings that cloud homeowners' titles, which hurts when you want to sell or refinance. Daniel Barnes of Maryland knows this all too well. He found himself fighting two MV Realty contracts for his sister's Northport homes because of her substance abuse struggles. So we went to go sell the property. A real estate agent called me and said, MV Realty has a lien on the house we can't sell. And at this point, I was putting Kathy into a rehab in Maryland, and we needed money as soon as possible. Under the homeowner benefit agreement, MV Realty gave Kathy Barnes $1,200 for her home on Cranberry Boulevard and another $1,000 for her home on Atmore Avenue. Court records show the company sued after Barnes hired another realtor to sell the homes. We paid him $12,000. He expects to pay even more for his sister's second house. Barnes said he only hired another realtor because MV Realty made no genuine effort to sell the homes. It seems to me that, you know, they're, they're waiting for you to get fed up with them and for you to go to another real estate agent. And then when you go to sell the house at the last minute, they're putting a lien on the house and then you have to pay them some kind of money. It was close to $14,000 that we had to pay in penalties. We found Tom Skinner of Georgia in one of the many lawsuits MV Realty filed across the state. 
He got $700 for his Wesley Chapel home through the homeowner benefit program. Things are tight sometimes. Like Barnes, Skinner eventually wanted to sell his home, but said he got no help from MV Realty. It was clear that they weren't really interested in selling the house. He ended up getting another realtor and had to pay MV Realty 3% of the sale price of his home. It was so much stress. I spent hours and hours away from my family dealing with this, and uh, it was horrendous. We reached out to MV Realty, and a spokesperson sent us this email in saying part, quote, to suggest that MV Realty has engaged in unfair or deceptive practices is simply false. And, quote, we are confident that after a full airing of the facts, these discussions will reinforce how MV Realty's business transactions are legal and ethical. It also says while their term is 40 years, their window to represent homeowners is six months. And those public documents they file through the courts when you sign the contract, they say it's not a lien. But the attorney general's complaint screenshots where they at one point said it was. Additionally, they do sue homeowners for equitable liens when they break the contract. It can be confusing, so we wanted someone to explain in person. We made the three and a half hour drive down to Delray Beach and paid a visit to their office. We knocked and knocked and knocked. They shut the blinds, then they called the police. They never came to the door, never told us to leave the property or anything, so. No problem. Thank you. You too. After calling the police on us, someone from MV Realty asked if we needed help. We said we wanted an interview. Are you willing to talk to us on no. the record, on I camera? About like I told you on our email, it's pending litigation. Yeah. The company is going to make no comment on camera, period. Right. No, I understand that, but you got to also understand there are like a lot of families who have a lot of questions for the company. So we just really want to do our due diligence. Due diligence for the families caught in these 40 year contracts. Devastates me that people can do that and get away with it. Read the contract. Don't just sign up because you need money right down in there. Emerald Morrow, 10 Investigate. We should mention here that Florida isn't the only state suing MV Realty. Pennsylvania and Massachusetts attorneys general are taking legal action as well.